Hello and welcome to another video from the xmoga.com. My name is Anthony Schneider and it gives me great pleasure to be here as always and offer you, if you are a smoker, <laughs> free advice and free information and free tips to help you become an ex-smoker like me and the millions of people around the world today who are ex-smokers and remember tomorrow thousands of people will become ex-smokers too and the day after that and the day after that because smokers are finally waking up and realizing that to smoke cigarettes or to use nicotine you have to be stupid and what you are doing is you are paying the governments and you're paying the tobacco companies to kill yourself why would you do that? Why do you want to actually pay somebody or some company or your government to kill yourself? I mean, what's that all about? But the reason why you probably continue doing this is because you're not educated why you smoke and secondly, you haven't changed your identity like I spoke about in the last video. Now, to change your identity means doing something very, very important and we do these things uh, all our lives from babies until we, we probably die um, and that's making decisions. Our lives, um, basically, they generate each step because of the decisions that we make. And to be an ex-smoker and change your identity, you need to make a very, 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 very tough decision. Now, some people know what tough decisions are. You know, sometimes, you know, the wife might have to leave the husband. She's been procrastinating for five years, four years, whatever. And eventually that time comes and that hard and that tough decision um, is made. Sometimes when you leave uh, your job, you, you find a job, you just you can't do that work anymore, you're, you're up to here with the colleagues, or it's just not you, so you make that tough decision. Or when you, when you make a decision um, to become a person who has their own business, um, you leave the world of the employer and the employee, and you become your own boss, and that's a tough decision to make. But all our lives, we make decisions on different levels uh, of, um, of, how you say, different categories of the level of the decision uh, for the outcome. For example, you know, we make easy decisions like, uh, shall I have the whiskey or shall I have the beer? Shall I have the wine? Shall I have the vodka? Shall I eat a McDonald's? Shall I eat a Burger King? Shall I eat salad today or shall I still uh, eat some chocolate? You know, we all experience and we all make decisions every day of our lives. But to be an ex-smoker, you have to make one decision which is um, a decision of reality. It's a decision of reality. Now, a decision of reality basically means that when you make this decision, you manifest it into the reality of your life. You've left the past behind. That's gone. This is the new reality. You are deciding to change your life completely. You are deciding to, to take control of your life whatsoever. Making a decision means that you are, what you are doing is you are, you are creating the, the power to or the ability to act. A strong decision means creating an ability to act. And acting means creating actions. When you decide to become an ex-smoker, and I mean an ex-smoker, like me, you have to create an action which becomes a reality and you have to use this action where you take yourself to a whole new level and no matter what comes, no matter what happens, that action and that decision and that level is where you will stay. You cannot become an ex-smoker. You cannot stop smoking if your decision is only half-hearted. It doesn't work like this. A decision to become an ex-smoker is a full, powerful, life-changing, um, a, a table with legs decision. Because what's the point in making a decision that you're not going to keep, especially when your health is concerned? Procrastination. We all do it. I did it for six years before I became an ex-smoker. Procrastination eventually will um, will will come come alive. It'll take over the ability to decide the next step of your life. You can procrastinate, procrastinate as long as you want, but eventually, if you don't do anything. 
procrastination will rule you. Now, this is very dangerous because when you make a decision to stop smoking, the reason why you make that made that decision is because you wanted to live a longer life. You had enough of of the coughing. You are afraid of the consequences. The consequences, because you're not experiencing the consequences now, you find it easier to hold back on that decision that you made yesterday. Oh, tomorrow I'll stop smoking. And tomorrow comes, doesn't, tomorrow, or, or for example, the procrastination, I should stop smoking. I really should. You know, you can procrastinate, procrastinate, but eventually it will take you over. But the problem is, like I said, it's very dangerous because what happens is when that line comes, um, the procrastination takes over the decision making, but it could be too late might get the phone call from the doctor um, excuse me but this is the reality while you're smoking you are pulling in the consequences of your smoking you're pulling it in just because you don't see it now doesn't mean you're not going to have it because you will if you continue smoking eventually it's going to take your life and you know this so you need to make a decision and making that that strong decision means finding some power within you the power to decide and the power to act and the power to get it into your head that this decision that you are making now to stop smoking is going to be a reality and it's going to be the, the next part of your life. It's going to be you as an ex-smoker. It doesn't matter what comes. It doesn't matter if people offer you cigarettes. It doesn't matter if you go into a bar. It doesn't matter if you feel the, the urge to have a cigarette. It doesn't matter because that will pass, trust me. Trust me, the urge to have a cigarette will pass. It will pass. Stop being afraid, okay? There's no need to be afraid to become an ex-smoker because it will pass. But all these things, they will come at you. But keep your decision. Make that decision. Imagine this thing. Imagine this thing is your husband or your wife or your girlfriend and your boyfriend and you've just walked in and it's having sex with your next door neighbor the person you hate the most in your life imagine that how would you feel you would make a decision like that never to be with that person again because that's a tough decision but you know you're making the right decision because you know that is the true decision that you should make and making that decision means that you need to know where you are you need to decide and make that decision where you want to be and go there decide to go there being an ex-smoker if you don't decide to go there you're not gonna get there and then when you know where you are and you know where you want to go you make that decision to get off your ass and stand up and say that's it no more I'm not paying a tobacco company to take my life away I'm not paying the government to say to me that my life is my life and my choices but yeah still smoke no I'm not gonna pay anybody to kill myself I'm gonna live my life as an ex-smoker get off your ass and make that decision find that power inside you demand more from yourself if you have stopped smoking so many times in the past and it's not work, worked worked out for you you need to demand more from yourself if you don't demand from yourself, then you're never ever going to become an ex-smoker and eventually you're going to end up in the emphysema ward at your local hospital and you're probably going to die from cancer, lung cancer, all these kind of things. Because if you don't stop smoking, that's what's coming. Wake up. Make that decision. Find the power. Take the action. Fulfill that decision. It's a tough decision, but you've got to do it. And it's within you. It's within you. It was within me, it's within all the other uh, thousands and millions of ex-smokers around the world. It's in you. Just make that decision. Whatever comes, whatever happens, stick with it. Stay with it. And it gets better. Because a life without nicotine, a life without tobacco, is the life that you want. You know what you want. You know where you are now. Change your identity. Know where you're going. Make that decision. Get off your ass continue doing it because trust me a life without nicotine is fantastic I promise you this the tobacco companies are fucking you and you're paying them to do it wake up what's wrong with you if you are a smoker you need to make a decision a big and a tough and a strong decision that you have the capacity to fulfill it's easy 
find that power that is in within you. It's in